Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to be starting unit six. So you're going to go to the new unit six folder in your class notebook and click on page one, solutions to equations. Um, once we get there, we can see our objective for today, which is to determine whether a given value is a solution to an equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice um, one more example of an expression and um, complete a similar problem that we did in unit five by substituting in our value x equals three and finding the new value of the full expression. But then we're going to actually look at a full equation. Okay, we're moving on to equations have that equal sign and we'll do some vocabulary review a little bit as well um, and we're going to determine what a solution to an equation is um, and see some examples that will not be solutions to equations okay so take a second and complete the din review for me and then look at the preview and see if you can answer that one as well All right, hopefully you paused your video and you looked at the DIN review and preview questions. Um, the review is actually straight from our unit five. So we have done this practice question before. Um, they're giving us an expression and they want us to find the value of the expression when X equals three. So I'm gonna take that expression and I'm just going to substitute, changing that variable X to the value that they gave me. So now it says four times three squared plus seven. And if we follow PEMDAS, we know that we have to complete our exponents first. So three squared is actually nine. If four stays the same, times nine, and then I'm gonna be adding seven at the end. If I complete that out a little bit more, four times nine is 36 plus seven, which gives me the final answer, 43. Okay. So this is an example of substituting a given value or whichever variable is in your expression and then finding that total value of the expression itself. But our preview question, even though it has the same expression on one side, now says that it equals 43. So take a look at the work we just did for the review. Is this equation true? Can this expression equal 43? All right, I want you to be a little bit careful because if we have this expression um, on one side and a value on the other side, and they also gave us x equals three, then we could say, yes, this e equation is true when x equals three, okay? Because we actually just solved that. We used x equals three, we found 43, so it was equal. If they give you that value, we can say yes. If they do not give you a value for the variable, we can't say yes or no. We're not sure what that solution will be. So let's look at some vocabulary here and a couple more practice questions for our notes um, and make sure everything is super, super clear. For the first vocab word, I know I've said it a couple times now, an equation. Um, is when we have an equal sign, okay? So it's an expression or two expressions really, an equal sign in between. 
But the reason why we need equations is because it's making a statement about the equality of two expressions. Okay, it's kind of telling us that something will be equal or not equal. Okay, two expressions will be equal or not equal. Um, when I say that an equation is true, that means that the expression on each side of the equal sign are the same. They have the same values. They're equal. Okay. When I say that an equation is false, it means that our expressions on each side of the equal sign are not equal or not the same. Fill that in for us. And then when I say that an equation is open, this is actually kind of what I was talking about for the preview. It's when an equation includes a variable that does not have a given value. So if an equation is open, we actually can't tell if it's going to be true or false. We don't have a value to substitute for that variable. Okay, so let's do a little bit of practice with these. If we scroll down to our notes section, exercise one wants us to state whether each equation is true, false, or open. So I'm just going to use the letters T, F, and O, and I'm going to start um, calculating some of these. Five squared is the same as five times five. We know that five times five equals 25 every single time that you do it in a calculator. So we can say true. Okay. Part B, we have seven minus two, which gives me a five in these parentheses here. And if I multiply that five out by the six, that equals 30 every single time. There's no way that that value can change. So we can say that it's true. Okay. Question C here gets a little bit tricky um, because we've got some fractions involved. But one half plus another one half should now equal two over two. Now we have a whole, a whole one. Two divided by two is one. But they're saying that it's equal to two over four. And we know that that is not a whole. That's another half. So these are actually not going to be equal. So our equation is false. I'm gonna label it with an F here. When I move down to question D, we have n plus 5 equals 14. So here's where it gets even trickier. When we have a variable that does not have a given value, they don't say um, when or if n equals some number then that will automatically be open. We don't know what n equals, so we don't have a way to solve and see if the answer will be 14. That one is open. For e, we're gonna solve it the same way. Five minus one actually gives me a four. Three times four would give me a 12, so I'm gonna have 12 on one side. But then 15 minus 1 gives me a 14. So that one is not equal. It is false. And very last question, question F, will be open again because they give us a variable 
but they do not give us a value to test. Okay, we can't test whether or not it is true or false. But if we move down to exercise two, we have a few equations that we can test out. They're giving us the equation and they're giving us a value to try. So we're gonna do something really, really similar to our DIN. We're still substituting, um, but this time they're giving us an answer and we just have to say if that answer would be correct or not. So I'm gonna take our first expression, 5x plus three, and I'm substituting that x with a seven. So now it's five times seven plus three. Okay. Five times seven gets me a 35 plus three will actually give me a 38. So we're doing our substitution the same way. We're still getting our own value, whatever that may be. And then they're just asking us to do the extra step and check to see if the value that they had in the equation is equal. And 38 is the same as 38. So we can now say that this is true. And I'm going to fix that T there, it looks a little weird. We had a variable to test. When we substituted, it was the same value that they said it would be. So we can say true. We're going to do the same thing for question B. We're going to substitute that 5 for n. So I'm going to have 4 and then 5 minus 2. Five minus two gives me three, and four times that three gives me a 12. Okay, this time we got the answer 12, but in the original equation, they had that 12 equal to eight, which is going to be false. Okay, 12 is not equal to eight, say that equation is false. And we have one last question to test here, where W equals 21. Um, again, don't let the fractions um, stress you out. We can always use our calculator to help us multiply that fraction. Um, but we're gonna have four over three, times 21, and then we're gonna subtract eight. I'm actually gonna put this right in my calculator, desmos.com slash scientific. I'm gonna clear out some of the ones that I've already done here. And then my fraction four divided by three is being multiplied times 21, and we actually get the value 28. And then they wanted us to take that 28 and subtract eight, and that will equal 20. So let's check here. We had that first expression equal to 20, and they also had that expression set equal to 20. That will be true. And then we have just a few blanks to fill in here. In part A, so x equals seven is a solution to the equation. Okay. This means that the value that we were given made the equation true. Okay. We said it was true. That means x equals seven is a solution. So now they want us to go back to part B and part C and state whether or not the two values that we were given, n equals five and w equals 21, are also solutions to their equations. So let's take a look. When we solve for B, we tried that value and it was false. So it is not a solution to the equation. 
All right, n equals five is not a solution. Maybe n is supposed to equal four. Maybe it's supposed to equal six. Okay, we don't know uh, because we only tested one value and it is not a solution. For part C, it is a solution. W equals 21 made the equation true. When we substituted that number, it ended up equal to the expression on the other side. Okay, it is true. So that's what a solution to the equation really means. Okay, what number or value can we substitute for that variable to make an equation equal on both sides? All right, let's test it out together with one more exercise, and then you guys are going to um, try a few practice with me. Let's see if I can fix up that page. It's looking a little wonky today. Which of the following equations would be true if n equals eight? So now we have a given value and they want us to actually test it in all four equations. Okay. If I substitute that eight into the first equation, five times eight actually gives me 40. 40 plus one, only gives me a 41. So that will not be equal to 45. I can cross that off. It will not be choice one. Let's look at choice two. If I substitute n equals eight, I put my eight right in this spot here. Eight plus 16 gives me a 14. I take that 14 and I divide by two. That actually gives me a seven on this side. And again, seven is not equal to 10. So we can cross that off. It will not be choice two. Let's try choice three. If I substitute that eight again, two times eight is 16. And 16 minus 20 actually does get us a negative four. Negative four is equal to the negative four that they had in the first place. So choice three would be our correct choice here. I'm gonna circle it really scribbly right there. Okay. Um, so for the rest of our class time today, you guys are gonna be practicing some other examples for me. I'm just gonna fix this here. I'm not sure if this is what it looks like on your pages as well. Um, something might have went wrong when we tried to move things. Um, each equation that we have here, A through I, has a given value for their variable. So it could be an X, could be an N, could be a Y, um, a T or a Z or a W, doesn't matter. But each one has a given value that they would like you to test. And you're just answering yes or no um, to the question of whether or not these values will be solutions to their equations. Okay. So same thing we just did up here with that multiple choice question. Each one is giving you a value y equals three or n equals eight, w equals 30. You're substituting it in to the first expression, right, on the left side of the equation. And then you're stating yes or no. Is it equal to the right side of the equation? Is it a solution? Um, once you've finished a few practice questions, we have our exit ticket here, which is the same thing. They give you a value, you're testing it out. We have our self-reflection as usual, and then you are completing independent practice number 30 on Canvas for today. And then we're done. Thanks, guys.